Hello everyone. I wanted to do a quick introduction to the Ricoh Theta S camera today. Ricoh announced in September that uh, the API is open. It's based on the Open Spherical Camera API, which is supported by Google. It's open source. It has incredible potential uh, for connecting the camera to other hardware, to all sorts of input-output devices and functionality. Today we'll just give you a little taste of that, uh, connecting the Ricoh Theta S to a Raspberry Pi and adding a remote IR uh, where you can control the camera remotely. Um, it's pretty awesome. Try it out. What we've got here today is the Ricoh Theta S 360 degree camera. It has an open API. The, it's supported by Google, the Open Spherical Camera API, and this allows an incredible amount of flexibility with the device. Just as an example, what we built is uh, using the Raspberry Pi, a, a very uh, modular, easy to use piece of hardware, uh, connected over Wi-Fi. Uh, we've accessed the, the API and have built a, a little bit of fun functionality. Mostly, uh, we've, in this case, we've used uh, Python, built some Python libraries. Here's um, just a little bit of an interface with some buttons for controlling the device. Uh, just to give a, a taste of what that uh, can look like. Of course, you could add buttons, you could make this much better, you could do a lot with it. So, in this case, the Raspberry Pi uh, is sort of built for these kind of projects. It has these general purpose I.O. pins, uh, 40 of them. So, just as a, again, as an example of what you could do, uh, since we're interested in controlling the device and knowing how we're controlling it, we built uh, some LED indicator lights. Here, the LEDs, uh, we show power, we show image capture mode, and I'm using a little IR remote to change between image capture and video capture mode. And then we've also built a timer, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, so you can step away when you take a picture or a video. Attaching the Ricoh Theta S to a uh, hardware like the Raspberry Pi just suggests so many possibilities. Here we've built these LED indicators in case uh, it's a headless device, there is no display. In that case, you might also want to use it remotely. You can attach it to a, a battery like this and uh, take it out in the field and, and use it for taking pictures that way. So I'm just going to quickly show you. We've connected the Ricoh Theta camera to the Raspberry Pi. We've added an IR dongle that allows us to use a little remote control. This is nice because you can imagine out in the field, standing away from the camera uh, and clicking and controlling the camera. We've also added, as I said earlier, the LED lights to show status. Here I am with the remote control, and if you see the little indicator lights on the camera, I'm going to change from camera to video. Same button, and you toggle back. Okay, so it's a camera. It's remote. I'm standing back. I'm going to take a picture. There you go. You've used the Ricoh Theta S camera.